Good morning all, 1st of May today. Wasn't planning on uh, coming out for a couple of days. It's been raining basically for the last two days, but uh, it seems to be a decent dry day today. I saw, um, saw a photograph on the internet yesterday that kind of inspired me to get up and go out today. Uh, it's this one here. Um, yeah, that, that white flower is a, a white form of the early purple orchid. And I've never seen anything to do with early purple orchids that aren't bog standard. Um, Ravelly wood the other day was excellent, but only a dozen or so plants there, so no real scope for anything different. And I thought, well, if I, I pick a couple of woods out in my old 20-year-old orchid book, um, proclaim that there's lots of early purple orchids at, then obviously there's a chance that I might find something unusual. Uh, and that, that photograph was actually taken at the wood that I'm at now, uh, which is Clipsham Park Wood um, near Clipsham. And uh, yeah, chances of finding it's 10,000 to one, probably more than that. And they're very rare anyway, so you can multiply that by another 10,000. So it's an excuse to come out. Uh, no idea what I'm doing here, where I'm going. I'm just gonna have a wander for an hour or so and see what turns up, you never know, might be my lucky day. said my odds were uh, what, 10,000 times 10,000 to 1 of finding this plant. Well I've just found it. I <laughs> just can't believe I've just found it after 10 minutes of walking. In fact I'm pretty sure it's the plant that's in the picture. In fact I've seen a couple of them in the same patch. Um, the only patch I've seen of early purple orchids and there's two white ones in amongst them so I'm just a bit gobsmacked at the moment so uh, I'll share these with you. Amazing. It's the only patch of early purples I've seen in this entire wood so far, albeit only in 10 minutes. But there are two white ones, so yeah, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. actually a third white early purple orchid. This is only a young one yet to open but uh, yeah three in the same patch. That's pretty impressive. Not fully open yet but that's a nice pink one as well just to give me another variation on the theme. Still buzzing, still buzzing over that find. I, I just didn't expect, didn't it? Just did not expect to find um, those white plants. And I'm pretty sure they're the same ones that are in the picture, which makes it even more remarkable. It's on Yew Tree Walk, which is the main ride down the centre of uh, Clipsham Park Wood. 
down the top end, easy to find. I have yet to find any more. Um, but yeah, absolutely brilliant. So I can happily move on now to another site, knowing that I found my main quarry. Uh, and we'll see what that one uh, throws up. But yeah, brilliant. Good job. Right, part two of this uh, walk is a uh, trip to Pryor's Coppice, which I walked past on a, a long walk I did at the weekend and never thought of popping in, but my old 20-year-old orchid book says that there used to be uh, a good population of early purple orchids here, so I figured it must be worth coming and having a, a trek around. I don't think it can match the white ones that we've just seen uh, at Clipsham, but uh, it should be a good trip. It's supposed to be a bit boggy, so I've got, got the wellies on ready for anything that comes my way but hopefully we'll find a, a better collection here in terms of numbers and then we'll go from there let's go and have a look <laughs> Fantastic woodland, really unspoilt, and absolutely rammed full of uh, all the wild spring flowers you would expect. So, yeah, not one single early purple orchid as yet. Uh, but we'll keep searching. It's not a bad place to get lost, and not a bad place to be finding nothing. It's just, uh, yeah, it's just a lovely place. Just uh, a fantastic, unspoilt uh, setting, and hopefully we'll bump into some orchids sometime soon. Well I've been walking for the best part of an hour and I've found absolutely nothing. It's a fantastic wood, it really is, but absolutely no orchids. I got back to the entrance, took one last walk down a little ride near the, the entrance gate and I bumped into some early purple orchids. Nothing exciting, but well that is exciting because I've not found any others so I was going to take a look at what they've got in this little, uh, in this little clearing. At least we got something. Uh, well that's it if nothing else it proves the adage that at the point where you just want to give up on a location that's the point you're going to find something so as it has proved hour and a quarter walking around this wood saw nothing and then just bumped into that small patch right at the very end i mean this site was supposed to be uh, uh well stacked with early purple orchid 20 years ago uh, i mean the worrying thing is it certainly isn't now it's a fantastic wood really is stunning wood unspoilt you know great collections of wild flowers but the early purple orchid no longer appears to be one of them but yeah when you've seen nothing for an hour and a bit uh, just bumping into that small patch of what seven or eight plants in a six foot square uh, that makes it worthwhile so yeah ends on a high note but all in all yeah it, it's i really had high hopes for this one and uh, it just didn't work out